Hello and welcome to another edition of Attractwell Office Hours. I'm Coach Ashley, joined today by founder of Attractwell, Greg Kilwine. Hey, Greg. Hey, everyone. We're really glad you're here today. We are so excited to have you here today where we are going to be talking about gamification. We're going to talk about how you can incorporate game elements into how you run your courses and your programs and how you can accomplish that with your Attractwell system. We also have a live review lined up for today. If you are new here, we're so excited to have you. If you are returning, it's so good to see you again. We are live here every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. And this is an opportunity to work together on whatever it is that you want to move forward with in your business. And of course, learn how to use Attractwell to work smarter, not harder in the process. So head over into the chat. Let us know where you're coming in from, what you do, introduce yourself. And of course, if you're in our Facebook community watching the stream there, say hello. We're excited to have you. So um, we have some slides we are going to get into today, and then we're going to do a fair amount of show and tell and discussion. So if you are here looking for support, if you have specific questions, even if they don't pertain to today's content, you can definitely go ahead and start adding those to the Q&A, and we can uh, start looking at how we'll be working together on today's call. Welcome. Keep it coming in the chat here. It's good to see you guys. Greg and I are going to pop out of video, and I'm going to actually get into the slides that I've prepared for you today. Uh, and then, of course, again, as promised, as always, we will get into a fair amount of show and tell. So uh, feel free to, if you have questions, uh, use cases, and so on about uh, this particular topic, uh, to add them, include them, uh, and we can uh, kind of discuss uh, how you can implement a smart strategies using Attractwell to get those things done. So um, again, we're so excited to have you here. We're talking about gamifying your courses and programs. So we'll get into the basics of gamification today. Uh, we'll talk about what that looks like implementing gamification in Attractwell, and then we'll actually get into the back end of Attractwell and explore some of the specific features that you might use to implement gamification strategies and explore use cases as you guys may bring them up. And then of course, as always, we will get into our live help and Q&A. So uh, if you are watching this, in, you, uh, in our YouTube channel as a replay. If you are watching this in our Facebook group and you would like to be on Zoom with all these amazing people who join us every week, you can go to attractwell.com slash office hours, get your own invitation to sit on one of these calls, get hands-on help if you need it. And then of course, be the first to receive resources we send out and get our replays. Definitely hop on to this list and take advantage of this. If you would like to work together live and you are a member of the Attractwell community, you can go to attractwell.com slash work review. And on the end of a call, just like this one, we reserve the latter half of these calls for live one-on-one -on -one work. Uh, so you can actually sign up for a session just like that uh, on a future call by going to attractwell.com slash work review. If you need a hand, if you know what you'd like to have done, but you'd rather not do it yourself, we have a team that can help you. Go to attractwell.com slash concierge to learn about the incredible professionals there and what they can help you get done. Now let's get into gamification basics. Uh, there's obviously a lot that is out there and written about gamification. It is a proven and powerful strategy uh, where you are wanting to incorporate um, elements of experience into something that you're providing. So in this case, it might be a course or a program so that you are increasing engagement and outcomes. So that's essentially all we're doing here is we're looking at your course or your program and figuring out how we can apply game principles to your client experience. Now, how many of you here out of curiosity have any personal history with gaming? This could be board games. This could be solo player games. These could be console games, maybe games on your phone. We're all, especially in the digital age, I think we are quite familiar with some amount of games. Uh, if you are, um, even if, if, you, if you're not using games, you see gamification showing up in a lot of really interesting and powerful ways. One that comes to mind uh, in particular, I'm a lover of language and, um, you know, 
know, know enough to get around in a few places. And part of how I've been able to accomplish that is using a, a little app called Duolingo. You guys are familiar with that, right? They're gamifying in that app the language learning process. Gamification and the addition of it to the learning experience helps to keep a user engaged. And that engagement becomes investment. And that investment creates better outcomes for the user. And then, of course, for you, the creator of, uh, of the thing that you are selling and offering, you give better outcomes. And of course, that gets you better reviews and so on. So we want to apply game principles to what we're providing. And the way that we go about doing this, and you don't have to do all of these things, you can just pick one of these or a couple of these and integrate it into what you're doing. The goal here isn't to turn your course or program into something that looks and feels like a video game. The idea here is to take some of what works from games and infuse it into how you're delivering your content so that you're getting that benefit as is your client. So this can look like um, kind of creating a story uh, that your client is participating in the telling of or the experience of. Offering or, or, or giving people points, awarding points um, for, for beating levels in the game or, you know, passing levels in your course or program, sending them on missions to do specific things, right? Uh, tracking their progress, which is actually something that's already happening in the, um, the class feature in your Attract Well system uh, is the actual tracking of progress through the completion of an online class. Um, you could have challenges and, of course, even rewards, bonuses, Easter eggs, the works. The idea here is to create a more interactive experience, right? Because that's going to drive greater engagement and thus outcomes for your client and for you. So all great games have some kind of storyline, right? There is there's a place where we are sort of suspending ourselves in a place and time that the game is describing and we are moving forward. We'll just use a role-playing game here as an example, right? A role-playing game takes place in a world. Uh, the world is very well defined and there is a goal, right? There is a goal that the hero, the main character is, uh, and that's you, or in this case, this would be your client. Um, the main character is um, moving through these different challenges. They're seeking to um, obtain a specific outcome. So if you want to gamify your course or program, it begins with getting clear on first, what is the goal or outcome? And then what does the journey look like to get it done? Outline that process. This is gonna be really important because you're going to build into your outline all of the sort of gamified features that you will need to be able to execute in your program using automations, using the AttractWell system. So we want to reimagine that outline. So if we say my, uh, my journey that I'm offering a client uh, is for them to learn how to play music on a guitar. Instead of, you know, just putting a video there that teaches them how to play a specific song, right? We want to take them on a journey where they are excited for the outcome and it doesn't feel like something huge and difficult. If you guys have ever tried to learn how to play guitar, you know that if, well, if it doesn't come naturally to you, uh, it's quite difficult, right? And, and when you're learning something new like that, that's complicated, it can be really easy to disengage from because it feels like such a huge, big thing. Learning a new language, to return to Duolingo as the example, learning a new language is a massive undertaking. And if you don't see yourself, feel yourself getting close to that realized end goal quick enough, you disengage, right? So take a step back, see where those points of potential disengagement might appear in your outline. And let's see how we might be able to reframe what it is that you're offering as a hero's journey, where they can triumphantly show up on the other side with the thing achieved that they came for, and they're having fun and engaged and happy throughout the journey. 
So the way that we get this done is to break down our complex content or concepts into smaller steps or pieces, right? So to use the guitar example, instead of trying to teach the song that they want to learn to play, you would be teaching a chord. Here's a lesson. We're going to learn this chord. Now play this chord. You did it, right? We've completed a step and now we can move on to the next one, right? So sometimes depending on what it is that you do and how you help your clients, this can be one of the most difficult parts of the process for you, kind of breaking down those concepts into, okay, what does bite size really look like? How can I provide something that truly is a winnable step that will keep people engaged moving forward through the rest of the content? Another fun thing that you could choose to do is to frame your program sections or modules as quests or levels. Really uh, have people seeing themselves as leveling up once they have completed these initial steps, right? And this really, again, helps to begin with a kind of a linear outline uh, where you really are kind of drawing that step-by-step -step journey. Um, if there are uh, concepts that you um, that you want to create, to kind of create an experience around, those can uh, be put together in um, in sort of modules or sections or subsections. We'll talk about those when we get into actually looking in the AttractWell system. Uh, lots of different ways that you can kind of break things down inside of your online class content uh, to be able to offer uh, things broken up in in those um, nice bite sized. Uh, formats. And then finally, as we're looking at the substance of what you are teaching or sharing in your course or program, you always want to make sure with each step, right, we're breaking the whole thing down into step by step, right? And each step, we want to make sure that they know that they are looking at the same horizon that their realized goal is on right? So always relate back. We're doing this because it helps us do this so that we can reach that big goal that we're here for, right? Remember that there is that, um, that end that they're aiming for. And if throughout your process of, of teaching and sharing your bite-sized information, you are relating back to why we would do this, why does this matter? Uh, making sure that it really deeply connects to the whole reason why they're here, why they bought your program to get the outcome that they came for. Now, we want to talk also about getting our client into the story. This is where things can get, get really fun and interesting. Uh, you can get very creative with this. So one of the things that you can do, uh, and I recommend this just as a general best practice, is to include a guide page in your vault that maps out their journey so that they can come back and reference maybe the rules of the game or the reward structures you're offering or just the big picture. So if they know, you know what, the, it, the grand scheme of things in this three-month program, I'm going to walk away with this outcome. And these are sort of the milestones. And you can map them out in a visual way that's really nice. Uh, using images, uh, and of course, writing things out in greater detail. Having a page like this, it kind of provides like a summary uh, of, of everything that they can expect to experience, which is a lot more satisfying to interact with uh, than just looking at the whole list of maybe lessons and modules in an online course that you have yet to complete. You should 100% also consider a welcome video that sets expectations and lays out, say like the rules of the game, sets the tone. If you really are going to be kind of framing this as like a quest or a challenge, uh, then you can of course um, put as many flourishes uh, into this as you desire. And structurally, as you're setting this up inside of your vault, you wanna make sure that your class lessons are set up to be completed in order. Now, the reason why you want to do this is really similar to the bite sizing of content to make things feel winnable and easy to engage with. You don't want to have everything available for people to just dive into, right? You want to really provide an experience that interacts with them. And this is a great way to do it because you can allow um, things to sort of unfold at their pace. So if they complete this lesson, they're unlocking the next one, right? And then they're unlocking the one after that and so on. And then using automations in AttractWell, you have the ability to do so many things. And in this particular case, 
if you're trying to keep your client sort of tied into the story and the flow and engagement in the structure of what you've created for your course or program, at the end of uh, or the completion of each lesson, when they hit complete on a lesson, right, that, that you have in uh, set up in your vault, you can actually attach an automation that sends them an email or a text. Maybe we're going to send them an email and congratulate them um, about uh, the, the progress that they've made. Maybe we tell them that they've level up, leveled up and here's the name of the level and here's your reward or here's your badge or your certificate or something like that. You could do things um, like that using automations. You also want to look at incentivizing and rewarding engagement and specific behaviors like completion of lessons inside of your content. So this can really be just as simple as reframing completion of a lesson, you get a new one, right? So if we frame, hey, let's get this thing done, we are going to win with this and here's what we're going to win. Um, and then you get to move on to the next level of achievement, right? You don't have to create a bunch of structures that don't exist conceptually. You really can just frame the value of being able to unlock that next lesson because it is a step in the direction of realizing the goal that they came for. Again, with automations, you can send messages at certain milestones. Uh, throughout the course. One of the things that you could do here as well, if maybe for instance, you have like achievement levels that you allow people to sort of unlock, um, you can have pages that are inside of your vault that are not viewable as vault contents, but are maybe linked. So let's just say for instance, if somebody makes it halfway through the course, uh, they have reached this bonus where maybe they get a call with you or they get a, a PDF uh, freebie or something like that. Uh, and so the automation you would link to the, the completed lesson would maybe send them an email uh, or a text message and it would redirect them to that hidden page in the vault that will, you know, congratulate them and uh, and link them to whatever it is that you want to share. Now, if it's a group program, you do want to make sure that you are incentivizing discussion. So incorporating discussion rooms, maybe a little bit of healthy, healthy competition, um, leaderboards, uh, which again can be very simple if you have people that are maybe reporting uh, their activity to you in a challenge. So, you know, if the challenge is uh, to you know, walk 15,000 steps in a day this week, uh, then you're going to have people maybe take a screenshot of, of that being completed and they upload it and they get a point, right? So the leaderboards, uh, you could you could kind of construct in that way inside of your discussion rooms, just like you would in a Facebook group. You could also offer bonuses or rewards uh, or use as Easter eggs. So like hidden sort of surprises and bonuses that people can find within your course or program are always going to be uh, factors that incentivize greater engagement because we get that sort of dopamine hit uh, from, uh, from finding something, discovering something that's exciting to us. And you can, of course, incorporate that, that sort of reward uh, behavior into your course or program. So let's go take a look at features and use cases and attract well, get into any questions that you guys have. And um, and then also, I think, uh, Demi, you're here, you had signed up for a work review. So we're definitely going to be bringing you out to chat here as well. So here's what I wanna show you guys first. Um, number one, if a lot of the concepts that I've talked with you about so far, like the, the vaults and the courses and things like classes, automations, things like that. If any of that is new to you, don't worry. You can actually head over here to the Success Academy and begin learning a about a lot of this stuff. We have courses that go into this stuff in great detail. For instance, if you go to online resources here, how to build your online course. If you are getting started with building a course, this is going to be a fantastic place to start. So make sure that you head over here and take advantage of this so that you can uh, start using uh, what we're sharing with you today. And if you want to go into greater detail as well on any of the topics that we talk about, such as automation, you can actually head over here, type in the keyword that you're looking for, and you can find the trainings that we have created for you, uh, recordings from these live work sessions uh, right here. So definitely check this out. So your course or program is going to live inside of your member area. 
And inside your member area, you have these things called vaults. Vaults can be courses, they can be memberships, uh, they could be communities, whatever it is that you want to create. Um, and, and this is the thing that you will be sort of using for gamification here, uh, or the primary structure, right? Because this is where you deliver your course or program. So let's say, for instance, uh, let's see, we'll do this um, life by design challenge. This will be the vault that we'll modify here. And again, if you go into the how to build your online course course, uh, you actually have a complete blueprint step by step on how to create your own uh, by your own design. So this is the vault. You have the option to actually view it and see what clients see if you click there. You can actually see what this looks like. There is so much that you can do with this in terms of uh, incorporating interactive media. You could have videos up top here. You can modify the background here to make it look how you would like for it to look. Um, and then, of course, you have options for the different types of content that you include. I do recommend a guide page. So this is actually a page. You can see the page icon here. You can alternately um, have this show up as an image as opposed to text, which is a, it gives a really nice look. So a guide page, this is uh, actually a copy of a uh, template that I have provided for you guys. If you go back over here to um, our Success Academy, And let's type in vault pages in live training. You can actually, I'll show you how, where you can get the, this and others. Uh, vault pages. Three must have pages for courses, programs, and memberships. If you check out this training in the description, you'll find that there is a resource bundle and uh, that is going to give you a page just like this one. So this is where you would outline the journey. This is where you would share the expectations, um, set those, have a, a video, a welcome video, tell the story, whatever it is that you want for someone to do. You're creating an immersive experience. Really imagine what it's like to be inside of a virtual world in a game. Uh, what does that, that start screen look like? That's kind of what this is going to be for you, right? On, on that uh, guide page. From there, you're going to have the bulk of your content living inside of an online class. Now, an online class looks a little bit like this. These can also be replaced by images if you choose. Uh, you can break things up into modules. Uh, and then, of course, you have these individual lessons. And in these lessons, you have the ability to include video. Uh, you can have downloads, lots of great stuff, right? Um, so the substance of what you're teaching doesn't change when you're gamifying your course or program. We're really just looking to incorporate elements that increase that engagement and bringing people back. So let's look at how we can structurally set that up to make this work. So you can see that that's our start here page, uh, our guide page. So definitely, of course, you want to make sure that's there. And then let's, tech, let's check out this online class. There's a few settings that we want to make sure that we have in place for our online classes where we're going to be really taking the, the greatest advantage of gamifiable features in AttractWell. So starting off, you want to make sure that these lessons unlock in order. So that means that in order for someone to finish uh, or to open rather this lesson, they need to have completed this one first. So that is going to be a sort of baseline. Um, this is going to, and, and obviously this doesn't work for every single type of course or program. If like you're offering referenceable material, then this particular online class for you, you might not set up this way, but optimally if we're gamifying, we want to control the experience so that it is one that unfolds for the uh, for the client, right? And in order for that to unfold, you can't just give them everything where they can just world hop. You know, uh, that's, if you, I'm thinking back to uh, when I mentioned world hop here, if any of you guys grew up playing Mario Brothers, um, you know, there were very few of those screens that you could get to where you could just like hop into a pipe and just show up in another world and you could pick whichever one you go to. Right. So um, so what we want to make sure we're doing is only allowing one sort of world or frame at a time. So in order is how we're going to set this up. And then let's get into the actual substance of this specific lesson. And you're going to want to do this throughout your course or program in these modules. Um, 
you do have the ability to add subcategories, right? If you wanted to do something like that. Uh, and a couple of cool things we can do here. Under advanced, you have the ability to run an automation when the lesson is complete. So what I would do here, if let's just say, for instance, this is the first lesson uh, in the course, we want to provide feedback for someone completing this and make a big deal out of it, right? Like you just passed your first milestone. The beginning of every journey is the first step. I'm so excited for you, what have you, right? So we want to get that information to them after they've done this. So there's a couple ways we can do this, and they're they're both achievable using an automation. And it does require just a little bit of planning. So I want to send them an email that congratulates them. And I want to send them to a page in the vault that um, rewards them with a um, with a bonus tip or a PDF. OK, so in order for me to be able to do that here, I need to first have the campaign that's going to send the message and I need to have the page made in the vault that I can link to. Then I can create the automation and then come and plug it in here. This is why we want to start with an outline and get really clear on where we want to incentivize, what we want to celebrate and what the structures are we want to create to get those things done. So if I come back over here to my vault, I'm going to add content. And here I'm going to create a page. And this is one where I am going to congratulate them. Uh, and here I'm just going to do a blank page. And I'll add a couple of sections here. And we're going to congratulate them on, uh, on completing um, their first lesson, right? So congratulations. Every journey begins with a step. And you just finished your first. And you don't have to do this for every single one, but do this for milestones, right? So, you know, here's a free thing. We'll just pop a little free thing in here. Here's a bonus. Right. And so you would create this page. This is going to, uh, we're going to call this, and it doesn't matter a great deal what you call it because it is going to be hidden in the vault uh, but this is going to be um first step completed level one achieved we'll call it that and then there you go this lives in the vault so once this is done we can come back over here we'll save our vault and uh, here let me refresh the page here and you can actually see that this page that I created, is right here first step completed level one achieved i want to hide this page so it's not viewable uh in the list of vault contents right so if i go to view vault you are not going to see that that in the list here you can have lots of hidden content here and this is another way that you can kind of introduce easter eggs and uh, sort of bonuses and surprises into this experience so uh, the next step would be to go create a campaign and that's again level one achieved. Good job. I'm, you know, you, you did it. Um, and so we're just going to create a single message. So this is going to be uh, level one achieved, course name. And I'll do the same name here. I prefer for this to be email, but it could also go out as text. That's not a big deal. And then our first message is going to share that message of congratulations. This is quite a bit of work, you'll notice, uh, to introduce gamification um, features into your course or program, but it is so worth it to have people actively engaging with you not having to be there to pull them along for every step of the way. Um, this really is something that allows you to really amplify your impact without having to put in the time over and over and over again to try to get that done. So uh, you did it. So you did it, level one achieved. And then we're going to say, uh, head over here for your prize. And uh, and then we're going to put in a link to that page in the vault that we created. Uh, let's see. Let 
And you're going to find that from in here. To save time, I'm not going to go find that right this second, but you're going to add that here. We're going to add that message. Final step is going to be to create a um, an automation and then attach it. So that's going to be under your contact settings, automations, and then we'll create a, we'll call it level one achieved and course name, obviously your course name would go here. For the action, we're going to apply that campaign. And then we are going to redirect to that page that we created. So let's go grab the link to it. This page here. And in the advanced options, we are going to paste that in right here. So once this is done, your person is going to be sent to that page where they see that congratulations. They're going to be sent a quick message that tells them that there's a surprise for them. Good job achieving the thing that you did. You could also choose to tag them here. So, um, so if you want to find the people who have achieved a certain level in your course or program to communicate with them specifically, you could do that here, right? So we create that automation. And then finally, we can attach this automation to our online class lesson. So I'll get back into in here into my class. And then level one achieved. So they've made it maybe through the getting started modules. And I'm going to go to that last one here because this means they've completed this section. I'm going to scroll down under advanced and I'm going to add that automation. So now if we go and view the class, you should actually see this work, which is pretty exciting. Uh, we hit start class. Uh, we'll go to this one. We'll mark it as complete. We'll go to the next one. Market is complete. And your user is actually going to then be, because I'm, I'm in here as a um, as an administrator, your user is going to actually uh, be redirected um, after they click complete, which is pretty exciting. And they're going to get that email uh, as well. So that is, um, that's how you can uh, really incorporate that feedback. Uh, feedback is a really important part of gamification, sort of rewarding people for having taken action. And that is something that can be really labor intensive uh, for you in terms of like doing that for every single person all of the time. But if you put in the work uh, and you create little things like this that will pop up and congratulate them or encourage them uh, to move forward to the next step or to keep them, you know, tied into the theme that you're going for, the story, the journey, um, right? Keeping the eye on the prize that's at the end of all of this, uh, you're going to get a better result for your clients. And, um, and of course, that's what we're here for, right? So I'm interested to see if you guys have any questions so far. Um, you're going to, um, let me see if there's anything else I think that comes to mind. That's really the, the main thing um, is, is to, to find ways to incorporate that feedback, right? And to apply automation to it as often as you possibly can so that you're saving yourself time. And then structurally, the experience is basically the same for everybody who is taking part uh, in your course and the content. All right, so Demi, uh, how do we use the vault to create a community for a business? Um, I would like to chat with you about that here briefly in just a moment, uh, but definitely check out the how to build your online course course because we do talk about uh, community specific feature settings for vaults as well. Peggy says, sorry, join late. You may have already talked about it. Uh, do you talk about quizzes? Can we create quizzes that gives a score? Um, and maybe a ditty about what their result says about them and other information. So we don't have quizzing built into Attractwell specifically, but you can integrate quizzes with Attractwell. So if you have your whole Attractwell system set up and you use a, um, a quiz platform like uh, Interact, for instance, is a quiz platform, um, if it connects to Zapier, you can connect it to a track 12. So uh, if for instance, you want them to, and you can embed those quizzes, like an interact quiz, you can embed 
on the lesson page. So if they're going to, you know, finish watching the video or whatever it is, and then a little further down on the same in the same screen, they're going to see their quiz um, after they've completed that um, that quiz. Uh, it can redirect to a results page that's maybe inside your vault, right? Where, where you create that, a lot of different ways that you can do it. Um, and, and you could even have the automation that you create that connects with Zapier to, you know, tag the contact and, and do all of those similar things that I was just sharing with you, right? Sending them to another page, applying a new campaign, maybe removing a previous one, et cetera. Quizzing is a great way to uh, to keep people sort of interacting with content, but it's not the only way. Um, if it is something that you really want to create as a feature, then that is definitely a great option to maybe go into interact, create a quiz there, get the embed code for it, and just pop it right onto a page inside of your Attractwell account. And that way they can experience the whole thing uh, without even leaving uh, your member area. All right, I see. Um, Denise, I see your hand up. Do you have a question? I would love to um, hear what that is, if that's the case. Or let me know if you were wanting to maybe pop out and ask directly. I could certainly unmute you and and we could we could do that as well. Just let me know. <clears throat> okay, I have um, let's see. Demi, I'll go ahead and bring you out to chat. You wanted to talk about uh, member areas anyway, so I think this is a, a great opportunity. And guys, if, if you have requests to come out and speak, we definitely have time for that today. Uh, or if you want to discuss any other features or ideas specifically, um, I know that where we're talking about gamification, um, it really is going to depend on what it is that you're teaching and how you're teaching it uh, to kind of determine what the best features might be to integrate. Uh, so if you have, um, you know, desire to kind of talk through your specific use case, we've got an opportunity to do that right here on this call. So uh, Demi, let's go ahead and bring you out to chat. Hi, let me know. Uh, you can hear me. You are able to unmute and uh, and talk when you're ready. Perfect. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi. Okay. So I am um, a virtual assistant. So for our business, we literally just like did a trial just to see how a track well is going on and how it works. Love it, by the way. Um, so just a few things, just because I'm new to it. Um, is, is there any way that you could like leverage the email list that um, is listed on there? Like, how can we? Um, pretty much just be sure that like the email is going to the right people I know that there's a let me see when I go to my contacts um and I've like imported a few email address um out there but is there any way that like once someone clicks on the website or someone clicks on um our website that we've created can we like leverage and see like that email list from a chart well Okay, so uh, yes, kind of. It depends on what you're doing so or what you're wanting to do. So what you're going to do, basically, sorry, I'm pouring my tea. Um, <laughs> you're, you're so, <laughs> um, so um, what you're going to do is, obviously, you, you want to import your list from wherever you have it from before, right? So if you already have a list that you've built. Um, if you are wanting to send an email out to them and you are wanting to send them to the website that you've built, you do have the mm -hmm. ability to track who's clicking a link in an email, for instance, uh, if that's what you're wanting to do. Or if somebody clicks a link in an email, you might want to tag them in your system to say this person's active. So you could use an automation to do that. So so yeah, there, there are definitely ways to do that. And then I guess another way I could maybe interpret what you were asking is, you know, from visitors to your website, you can also collect mm -hmm. leads, right? So people can actually, you know, arrive at your website where you give away an ebook or something like that, and they can put in their name and email. And, and then now that person is in your contacts, just like any that you would import. Perfect. Perfect. Um, does that, does that um, answer that question? It does. It does. It helps out okay. so much. <clears throat> Um, and then my next question is, <clears throat> so I was building the website probably like two weeks ago, 
And I don't know if I'm not saving it correctly or if it's just because we're on the trial that it doesn't stay up for like forever. But I noticed that like I would import certain things or put certain things on um, the website that I was trying to create through a track well. And then maybe like probably like an hour later, like if I'd go back to it, like it just go back to like a default page. Hmm. Okay. Do you know, um, do you have a URL attached to the account? Um, I'm looking for one with your name on it and I'm not seeing it. Let's see. If I go to customize or maybe I could go to. Or actually, you know what, if, if maybe in the chat, if you could just direct message, uh, maybe uh, where it says host and panelist, uh, direct message the email address associated with the Attractwell account that you have, then we can maybe pull that up and take a look um, and, and maybe troubleshoot what you're looking for there. Perfect. And I will While you're soon. doing that, as Selena asks, I have Google Forms as a quiz. Can that be used in Attractwell? I'm not really familiar with Google's quizzing features like it can can you like give scores or um I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm not super familiar um I do think that you can embed their forms though on pages so just like I was talking about using interact um you have a um embed this on on a web page as an option you're going to see that with google forms as well so um if you like that and you prefer it you could certainly use that another option if it's not about scoring so much as it is getting information from someone you can use uh page pages with forms in attract well as well it's just not going to give the, the like a scoring necessarily um in the same way that a, a quiz platform would okay let's see oh got it i've got the email from you demi thank you um okay just if um if zoom would let me copy this okay there we go all right so you said you were creating pages and maybe the changes weren't sticking something to that yes. effect okay okay so what would be uh, would it be like under pages like uh, like site pages yes so it would be under um pages and actually i'm trying to so actually excuse me it's under um when i would do customize my site okay and so if i were to go to um yes so i built out like a whole like page or whatever for it and then maybe like 30 probably like an hour later I would mm -hmm. go back to it and it wouldn't stay the same and it could be as simple as me saving those changes and I didn't do that and that's probably why it wasn't up there but if where I were, were to you hit, like where were you putting that content I guess is is what I'm I'm trying to figure out you said like when you were building something like um you know were you adding text and images like uh, or were you just putting the settings in place I was putting the settings in place. Got you. Okay. Okay. So the one thing that comes to mind, I was just looking at this. I see there's a landing page required there. Mm -hmm. um, and so the there's a little nuance with that because that is like a, I don't know, a, a wall, you know, essentially mm -hmm. that they have to go through in order to get to the main website. If you require a landing page and uh, you fill out that landing page or skip the button to, or click the button to skip it, I guess you don't have that one turned on it'll remember that on your computer, like sets a cookie. Gotcha. So if you go back to visit the site again, you're just going to go to the direct page. You wouldn't see the actual landing page unless you go over back to the landing page and view that URL directly. So I don't know if that's what's happening here, um, because if you go out, you know, go edit that landing page or, um, you know, go to the landing pages menu and click on that. It is there. I didn't see like a regular page, but yeah, the, the main website looks empty at the moment. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you actually built the page or not. If, if it was just a landing page, then that probably is what's happening here. That'd be my my guess as far as what's going on because I didn't see any pages, but I did see a menu there. That makes more sense. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Perfect. Okay. And then my next question is just because I am so new to this and my um, client does want like the ball to be moved, we do have a separate um, 
website that we're using right now through mm-hmm. Square. Um, um, but we eventually want to move everything over to a track well. Uh, um, is there any way that y'all, and if we have to pay for it, that is completely fine, that y'all have a person that like could work with me um, one-on-one just to like build the website effi- more efficiently and like in a quicker pace? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we definitely have lots of trainings if that's something that you want to like brush your skills up on. But if you're wanting that, like, let me get it done and work with somebody to get it done. Our designers are not only awesome, they're fast. <laughs> so um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so that's, that's definitely doable and they're super reasonable. So if you go to attractwell.com slash concierge, um, you could maybe, you know, kind of let them know, Hey, here's, here's the plan. Here's what I need for now. Like, here's kind of like my get things just up and running for now. And then you've got a longer plan to transition. Um, then, you know, that's, that's definitely a great option to start. Perfect. And you said it was attract well. Yep. Attractwell.com slash concierge. Perfect. Um, trying to make sure if I have anything else. That is like super, super alarming. Um, Okay, the Zoom. So we tried it out today, the Zoom link um, to set up. And we just tried it for like one of our meetings. Um, So is there any way, so like if we wanted to use this Zoom for clients and they have like, because she does sessions. Mm -hmm. So um, if they have like a recurring meeting or anything like that, where can I insert that date? Because I just see it says recurring in any time. If we were to like fully get it besides the trial, is, would I be able to see more options for that? Uh, no, actually. Uh, so that link just, it, it's, that is a recurring link. It basically means that you can use that anytime. So it's not just at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays. You could open it at six o'clock on Mondays and it's still going to work um, for that okay. client. So the the way that I like to do this is um, obviously you've got whatever your interface is that is establishing the schedule, right? So it could be that you're using a calendar booking software like a Calendly, and then mm-hmm. the the location of the call mm-hmm. is that recurring meeting link, the join link for that recurring meeting. Um, this could also be inside of a vault uh, where you know there's a schedule posted. Uh, and the link to join the call and that's there. And, and then you're, you're basically just, or, or, you know, you're using a saved reply that, you know, you're going to send out as a reminder, don't forget our call is at whatever, here's the link. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and so you have the ability to, um, to incorporate that in, in, into a few different places. And another way that I actually like using this, and we did a training that mentioned this recently, um, is, is to use, um, it's not our software. It's actually like a free thing, but it's, uh, it's called, it's ical.maru.com. And so basically you can actually create a recurring meeting calendar link and put the, like that join link into it. And so if you wanted to actually give that link to a client to put onto their calendar, you could do that as well. And that's actually a free service. Um, or it's, it's, it's not even a service. It's just like a, it's like a little software generator thing um, that creates an ICS file you can share with clients. Perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, you honestly have answered a lot. I'll probably just end up working with someone so that we can get it like done really, really fast. But um, mm-hmm. that is all that we have so far. Thank you all so much. Yeah, sure thing. Thanks for coming out. No problem. All right. So if anyone else has questions or requests to maybe look through, talk through things together, whether it pertains to gamification or anything else, uh, the floor is open. So just pop your hand up or let us know in the chat or drop a question into the Q&A. Happy to help. Um, This is, um, it's an interesting topic that I think that I'd like to see a lot more exploration of, like as a community, I'd like to hear more about what you guys are working on. Obviously this is maybe gonna spark some ideas for you, but let's come back on another call like this one and maybe talk about accomplishing a specific use case in the quest to gamify your course or program, right? Um, There are a lot of ways that you can do things, but obviously we wanna 
give you the best advice on how to do things that meet the need of your business and the design that you want to create for your clients. Just know that with AttractWell, you have options to modify and make and dial in exactly the experience that you want for your clients. There's always a way to get it done. If you're ever not clear on what that looks like, just shoot us a question and let us know and we will show you that there is a yes. <laughs> uh, in the majority of cases, there is a way to achieve these things that you're looking to do. So, hey, Selena, I've got you to where you can unmute. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, greetings. Hi. <laughs> and um, hi, I, I'm, I'm Demi's client. I was listening in and I appreciate all of her uh, beautiful questions. I am, I do like a track well, but as I'm listening, I'm curious because it sounds like quite a few interfaces. So the reason why I wanted to go with track well, it felt like I was getting everything in one. Mm -hmm. And it and now it feels like I still got to use quite a few third party items mm -hmm. to accomplish what I need to accomplish. <clears throat> Definitely going to take a look at the. Can you tell me more about what so, you're hoping to accomplish? Um, and I, I can. Tell you <laughs> if, if it's something that yeah. you really need something else for. Okay, so just like the calendar um, that you um, were talking about in the interfacing. So if I heard correctly for my scheduling, let's just say that I'm going to use Google. We're just starting out, right? I'm just starting my coaching practice, and so I want to use as minimal things as I can um, based upon cost, right? Um, Google has an entire suite. I'm using Google Workspace all of the things and when it comes to booking it sounds like what i heard is then they would i would present the google calendar for them to book and then somehow need to tie that back into the zoom so that's a missed piece i feel like that i'm so missing because when we were on back end it looked like we could create and schedule a meeting right in there. You so can. I, like say I already have a, okay. Yeah, no, you absolutely can. Recurring meetings are just a little bit different. Uh, so oh, if, okay. you, if you're going to have an indefinite recurring meeting, then that's not something that creates a calendar event and attract well. But if you're going to have a series of 10 recurring calls with a client, those could all be set up and those the, it, it generates calendar links. Uh, you can email them directly from AttractWell with like, that's all set up there. So um, the recurring link, I think it's just a matter of, uh, of, of slight difference there. So, I mean, if you're not mm -hmm. offering unlimited calls in perpetuity to each client, you're probably not, then it's probably a series in which case you could just set those up as individual calls in AttractWell. So we would have to, okay, so say, for example, I have a six month program, which is 24 weeks of scheduling and it, and looking at it from the attract well perspective, I would set up 24 individual sec sessions, even though they're at the same time. Is that what I'm understanding? You could, you could, I guess what is your client, how is your client going about picking the date and time for those calls or are they? I'm, I'm setting them up. That's, that's why. So it's already an active client. So I wanted, I want to transfer over from the system that I'm using today mm -hmm. with this client and schedule those remaining reoccurring sessions, which are about 13 of them. Right. Okay. So that's why we okay. were looking for the recurring date and time Got to you. do that. Fabulous. Okay. This is actually really simple. It's going to oh, use, right. your, yeah, no, you're going to use a recurring link and a, a recurring meeting and a Zoom meeting and attract well. And you're going to take that mm -hmm. join link. And, and so that's going to be here. Let me show you real quick your join link, which if we go to our uh, Zoom meetings, here we go. There's our recurring. Oh. Yeah, you're still in, well, that's, that's the one that Demi and I have. Okay. Yep. So we'll copy this link and then uh -huh. you're going to just go over into your Google calendar that you're using. Cause you have that G suite and everything set up. Um, so, oh, you're gonna call, okay. and then the location for the call is this link right here. And, 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 then and when you're, when you're up setting up time around, okay. that's right. Yep. Set up mm -hmm. the date and time and you can tell the Google calendar to repeat 13 times. Right. And I'm and picking up there. what you're putting down. Okay. 
The okay, other thing so I'd probably look, recommend, uh, sorry, is to enable the waiting room on the Zoom meeting link too, because then yes. if even if somebody then stumbles across the link, they can't get in unless you approve them to join the meeting. That's so right. So there's a, if you edit it, there's a enable waiting room checkbox you can add. I just wanted to yep. toss that in there. Yep. Thank you, Greg. I've been seeing your emails. Nice to put a face to it. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm not a fan of the enable waiting room because then that to me just adds another task. However, I get it now. Okay. Okay. And then uh, what Demi was saying about the website. Can we set that up fully in the trial version is it without me using my current active domain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It's just going to be attractwell.com slash whatever you picked. And, and that's, oh, okay. yeah. And, and so it's not even something that would necessarily even be found or discovered until you decide to start promoting it. So, so yeah, you're, it's, it's a dollar trial, but it's not like a trial version. It's the full software. Uh, so, okay. so you can, you can do everything that you'll be able to do uh, the following month. Okay. Okay. I think that's all I got for now. Thank awesome. you. Appreciate yeah, it. of course. Of course. Glad to help. Thank you guys for coming out and for your, all of your awesome questions. Do we have any more before we go? Let me know and we can have a brief chat. Um, if you guys have requests for uh, ideas, for trainings, other things that you want to learn about, uh, if there's a specific use case that you want to explore, uh, you are maybe moving over from other platforms and you'd like to replicate something that you were able to do somewhere else and you haven't quite figured out how you can do it with us, we can do that on a call like this as well. So uh, that is open to you, you guys. Just reach out to us, comment in the Facebook group, support at attractwell.com, reach out to our team. And of course, uh, we're here for you and we'll be back here same time next week. Till then, I hope you guys have a great week. Get into gamifying that content and we'll talk soon, guys. Take care.